Hey, 5 Minute Church. Welcome to 5MCE. We are here with Christian pop artist Jason Fowler. We're at the International Christian Film Festival. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to meet you. Honor uh, to meet you as well. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, say hi to 5 Minute Church. Hey, 5 Minutes Church is Jason Fowler from Atlanta, Georgia. That's why y'all. Y'all. I love the y'all. You got to go follow him, actually. He's got some amazing music. We're going to be featuring him on the app. And I just, I love your story. You have an amazing story of where you've come from. It's it's such a comeback story. Um, can you share, even just with our um, fellow watchers, that just the story of, you know, where you have come from and your addictions and, you know, being homeless, share with 5 Minute Church just your story. Well, basically, I tried, uh, once I started playing guitar at an early age, I grew up in an alcoholic family. Family, and I said, I'm never going to do that, never going to drink. But uh, I remember um, a guy said, hey, do you want to go and hang out a little bit and hang out with my older brother? And I wanted to be cool. I didn't want to be, you know, into alcohol or anything. But I took that first drink, and next thing I know, I ended up um, loving it. You know, I got sick and in trouble the first time, but I liked the way it made me feel because I thought I could dance better, I was cooler, all of those things that most people, liquid courage. Fast forward a little bit in my... Um, I remember my dad um, getting sober, and I said, that's never going to happen to me. I'm not going to drink, but I thought that I was going to be able to just continue doing what I did. And I remember being in sports a lot and developing a thing called performance-based acceptance. I thought the better I did in school, the better I did at sports, that I was going to get more love, you know. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. Yeah, yeah, we all do. And, I, you know, our Father loves us no matter what. And He will search us down, leave the 99, and come to find the one. But uh, fast forward a little bit, and I ended up, started drinking, playing in a band, and started using drugs a little bit more. I thought if I got a record deal that everything was going to be okay and I was going to be full in my heart, I was going to make a lot of money, and that I was going to be rich and famous, everybody was going to love me. And, and it all works out just like that, right? Just like that. And next thing you know, um, God had different plans. You know, by this time I got a record deal, um, quarter million dollar record deal, went into Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and recorded um, for a couple of months. But... Um, Another company came in and bought the record label, so the album was shelved. I struggled a little bit more to try to make it. You know, by this time I was so lost inside and I felt so uh, like helpless and I didn't know what to do. I looked back and I was like, how did this happen to me? Well, um, God had different plans. Next thing I know, um, I ended up struggling and, and I found myself homeless on the streets of Atlanta. Wow. It's crazy because um, I didn't have anywhere to go, and I remember being kicked out of a drug dealer's house in Atlanta, Georgia, and I said, God, whoever you are, whatever you are, please help me, because I remember that he had saved my dad, you know. Mm -hmm. He'd been sober like 25 years, and uh, at that point, a couple of weeks later, I was in a Christ-based recovery center, and I uh, tell people it's like a country song backwards. I started getting. I things, love it. <laughs> I started getting things back in my life, and I, so it is true. That is the truth. It, <laughs> it is true, and and that's the short part of it. But you know, the amazing thing is, is I've been sober over 12 years, and since that time, I have been able to uh, reconnect with God in my life put him first in my life as well as reconnect with who I was and my family too. I have a wonderful family. My dad and I have a great relationship. I put all of the things into music these days and he's put me on bigger platforms and bigger stages than I ever could have done by myself because I gave it to him first and I put him in my heart. Amen. I love that. And, you know, I just, I want to ask you, if somebody is struggling today, you know, that they might find themselves in that same position that possibly that you were, because I know there's a lot of people in Five Minute Church that struggle on a daily basis. And if there's something that you can say to them, you know, that you were in that place that being kicked out of a drug dealer's house or being homeless at that point, what can you share with them to give them that hope today? Well, I, I was told not to ever quit. And, you know, the thing is, 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 it's crazy the way God has made it work. He says, look, if you, if you start out your day on your knees, if you start out praying to me, you don't have to get knocked down on your knees. Amen. You don't have to, you know, if you put him first. Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is like, you know, I can't, he can, and I'm going to let him. And today, if you're struggling, if you're hurt, if you're broken, he will leave the 99 and come find you. He will come find you and have a big party for you. He's been waiting for you. He created you perfect in his eyes, and your love doesn't come from the world. It never has. It comes from him, and he is our father. And so if you feel like you're lost or broken, just say, God, 
Come into my heart, come into my life and use me. Make me whole again, make me new. He will make you a new creation and give you a life second to none. Amen. I, I'm in tears. I, it's so true. And it seems so simple, but it is so simple. But yet sometimes we get it gets so clouded. And we all have that story of, of redemption and grace. And we are so excited to um, have you here on 5 Minute Church. We're excited to get to know you. And, and even just to see what God has in store for you, just taking you into this. Just It's awesome to see what he is doing. So we want to thank you. Tell everybody where they can find you on social media, where to find you. Please let everybody know. Absolutely. Jason Fowler Music on Facebook, Instagram, jasonfowlermusic.com, and Twitter, underscore Jason Fowler. So go and check it out. I'm on Apple Music, iTunes, Pandora, as well as I have a new record coming out. So feel free to check it out. And, and if you want to shoot me a message, if I can and see it, I'll give it, you know, I'll give you a, a quick message back. Click the link below and you can check out Jason Fowler and all that he has going on in his up and coming music. Thank you, Jason. Thank you so much. Five Minute Church. That's right. Yep. See you soon, guys. Yeah.